my channel. I am out here on the beach in Miyazaki Prefecture. We are currently in Hyuga Miyazaki. Random, I know, we picked this place because there's an awesome dog-friendly Airbnb here. It's called Hyuga Surf Camp. And I will say it's super cute. I'll definitely be sure to give you a house tour of that. And we had a friend that stayed here before and it had been saved and I have like a Airbnb wish list of dog friendly places here on Kyushu because as I mentioned in my last video, they are few and far between. So this place has kind of been pinned for a while for me and Olive absolutely loves to swim. So we figured we would come out here, bring her to the beach and enjoy a weekend in Miyazaki. We have kind of done a few things in Miyazaki, but we haven't been to Miyazaki City yet. So I think that is going to be tomorrow. We will head down there, eat good food, drink good coffee, check out the shrines, yada, yada, yada. But today we are here in Hyuga, which is about an hour north of Miyazaki City. And we're just hanging out in this cute little surf town. There are so many surfers out right now, which is really cool to watch because I most certainly cannot surf. <laughs> I think I've tried like, once or twice and I just I hate getting water up my nose I think that's really the biggest thing um, I'm 30 years old and I don't know how to dive either because I hate the feeling of water going up my nose so clearly I don't know how to dive because I think the whole point is that that doesn't happen <laughs> but you get the picture there's a cute little mall right next to us right on the water there's some observation decks and whatnot uh, other than that though this is definitely a pretty quiet like surf town uh, I wouldn't say there's a ton to do here but today is kind of our day dedicated to Olive so we're gonna tire her out let her go swimming it's been a while since she's done that and kind of just have a relaxing day it's like almost 9 30 this morning so I am going to sign off for now and I'll see you whenever we decide to do next I'm not really sure we don't have like a huge plan for today besides relaxing <music> It has been a few hours since I last saw you all, but we went and walked around the Stairs of the Sea mall for a little bit after bringing Olive home and washing her off and giving her a little bath and then uh, putting her in her kennel so that she could just sleep for a little bit. You know, we did a lot of running around on the beach and whatnot, and it's definitely warm here. So that was her relax time. And yeah, the Stairs by the Sea mall out here in Huga is super cute. If you're just like driving by or anything, I highly recommend stopping and getting some lunch there. There's a nice kind of like boutique food store inside and some other little boutique shops that are definitely worth checking out. And then from there, we stopped at a coffee shop. I will put the name here because I can't remember exactly how to say it. Uh, and it was really good. A very cute, tiny little coffee shop that had great coffee. I got something that was like similar to an espresso soda. I don't exactly remember what it was. It was kind of like their seasonal drink. So I imagine it probably won't be around for much longer because Japan loves to make things that I love and then take them away from me. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sure that probably won't last much longer. Um, and now we are going to head up to, I think it's called Umegase, and it's kind of like these cliffs that look really pretty. So we are going to head up there, check it out, enjoy the views, kind of walk around a bit. There's like the view, and then there is a lighthouse up there, and then there's another rocky area that looks like an X in the sea. So I think it's called like cross of the sea or something like that so we'll go check that out too and then yeah see how it goes and see what we decide to get up to after that um. 
Umagase is a beautiful area that has an observation deck on top of 70 meter high cliffs made from volcanic rock. The panoramic view of the Pacific Ocean is absolutely gorgeous and worth a visit. Just a little further along the walk is the Hososhima Lighthouse. Originally built in 1910, we could see the light from this lighthouse at night from the beach by our Airbnb. All right, it has been quite a while since I picked up the camera last. I think I left you all at Umegase and that was honestly a really awesome part of this Huga area. Now that I've kind of like, it's been a, like two days I wanna say, and we went down to Miyazaki and like further south down to the Udo Shrine, which was absolutely beautiful. I will put in all of that footage after this. Um, but now that I've kind of been down there and at Aoshima and back up here in Huga, I just love this little Huga area. I will say when we first got here, I was like kind of not impressed. Um, I judged it a little too harshly, I want to say, but it's just a really chill beach town and like the beaches out here, I want to say, are nicer. I like them more. Olive is currently out swimming in the ocean one final time before we head out for the day. She is definitely living her best life out here and we brought her with us when we went down to the shrine and Aoshima and all of that stuff. So she's just been having a great time, honestly. We've been having a really enjoyable weekend. Like I said, it's just, it's really Really two full days and then two travel days on uh, the back ends because of how long it takes to drive out here. But the Airbnb that we stayed at is so nice. I will say the beds were really hard and that put me in a bit of a mood yesterday because I didn't sleep that well. But I absolutely love just kind of the aesthetic and the look. When you first drive in, it's kind of like, oh, this looks a little abandoned, but it is at the end of September, so it's not high season for the beach area right now. So it's kind of hard to say, but I really enjoyed the Airbnb. I will put some footage for like a little tour over this right now that I'm talking and yeah the whole thing was great it was like super everything out here has been super super eco-friendly too which I really like the Airbnb sleeps I want to say four people because there are four bunk beds but I would say it's definitely gonna be a little tight with four people but the bathroom was really nice the area was just awesome so overall I would definitely give this Airbnb like five out of five I absolutely loved it okay so let's jump to the Udo Shrine and Devil's Washboard area. We did skip the Sun Messe or whatever that park was called. Um, it's 800 yen a person to get in. And honestly, I thought it was just like a city park with some fun Maori statues. Uh, we weren't really looking to pay 15 bucks to get in and like take some pictures. So that's how come we skipped it. Maybe if you have children, it would be a fun thing to do with your kids, but it's just Jason and I and Olive. So it wasn't really anything huge on our to-do list. And then we checked out got some great food some great drinks I will link all of that below for the Miyazaki stuff I don't have footage of it because I was just living in the moment and enjoying it but yeah let's jump to that footage and check out all of the fun things to do in Miyazaki City and a little down south at the Udo Shrine the Udo Shrine is a must visit if you are out here in Miyazaki this beautiful and vibrantly colored shrine sits in a cave on the side of a cliff overlooking the ocean the view is spectacular. It is said that the shrine is thought to be good luck for couples and newlyweds. It was free to enter and about 40 kilometers south of Miyazaki City. After getting lunch and coffee in Miyazaki City, 
we popped out to Aoshima Island to visit Devil's Washboard. This little island is home to a phenomenon of wave-like rock formations that is known as the Devil's Washboard. These rock formations were made millions of years ago. The entire coastal area of this region has formations like this. There is a beach and a park nearby with fun touristy things to do. That is going to be it for me today. I hope you all enjoyed. We're here at the beach one last time to let Olive get her swim on. And it's starting to sprinkle, so we are headed back to Sasebo today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and maybe I'll see you next week. I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully all of the states of emergency here in Japan get lifted, and we can kind of start traveling a little bit more. So I will see you when I see you. Bye.